to the viewers of pandit ravi shankar music foundation once again we are here for the celebration of pandit ravi shankar's 100 year but friends before to start this session we from pandit ravi shankar music foundation give our condolences to one of the stars of bollywood ms saroj khan who is no more with us today and she has left for the heavenly abode so our condolences to her family and may her soul rest in peace continue to the show today friends we are glad to introduce one of the most eminent personalities once again this week and the one and only tabla legend pandit kumar bose and dada pranam and uh, to, to speak to kumar da there is only one face with a smile our brother gaurav bhujundar is also here so gaurav da very good evening Thank and uh, dada dada bangla te pranam janachi apnake and uh, we are we feel pleasure to that you are here and give your experiences share your experiences with pandit ravi shankar ji and to whom the questions and other things will be asked by gaurav da so over to gaurav da once again thank you so much continue the session thank you thank you thank you to you my friend thank you navarat kumar da pranam yes to bahut thank you what a pleasure to see you kumar da and so nice to see you are doing well in this difficult time nice to see you too thank you thank you to begin with we will start with a very auspicious note because day after tomorrow is guru purnima and i have had the privilege and honor of seeing you interact with your gurus including my guru pandit ravi shankar ji who you considered your guru as well and you have really shared many 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 years both as uh, on on a personal level and professional level what would you like to tell all of us about guru purnima about your gurus your parents and then we go to our guru pandit ravi shankar ji first of all happy guru purnima to everyone watching the show and uh, for guru purnima i will start with guru mantra that guru brahma गुरु विष्णु गुरुदेव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्मय जी गुरुवे नमो तस्मय जी गुरुवे नमो तस्मय जी गुरुवे नमो यू नो एज यू यू कैन सी दैट व्हेन एवर आई व्हेन एवर आई से गुरु मंत्र आई सो मच आई मिस माय गुरुस दैट आई माय टीयर्स कम्स एंड आई रियली मिस देम आई i cannot really say in word okay. that uh, how close i was and I, i i was so lucky to to have gurus like them and uh, today only i can say that you know um i have said several time but i'll say it again that in gita bhagwan shri krishna has said that we are a general people we are karm yogi we don't have that sort of deepness or that sort of ability to see god in front of us bhagwaner darshan paoa amader dara somvob noy shri krishna bolechen the god lord shri krishna has said in gita but he said at the same time what you can do that anybody who you to think your guru anybody you admire as a guru if you do charan seva i always i i am always there in their feet so if you just touch their feet and start feeling about you know about me you can touch me there none other than guru's feet 
you can find me banglay bolle jeta hoy ki guru charoni ami sob shomoy okhanei ami biraj kori ki guru charon seva korle tahole tumra amar ashirbad pabe e chhara tumra amar sadharon manush tumra amar dekhato pabe na guru charon seva koro tahole tumra amay pabe so this is what guru is and how lucky we were to witness guru like uh, gurus like pandit ravi shankar ji pandit kishan maharaj ji and so lucky to witness you as well kumar the i must say that i have seen the greatness of art what you have imbibed through sheer hard work and riyas and you have been an inspiration to us because especially our struggling days you were like a rock and when we met you or saw you we really got lot of energy and we really thought that meeting you was 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 so wonderful every time you filled us with lot of positive energy uh, i must say it it's really true there are i mean you know i i i very much remember that i used to go to uh, 95 lodi state in delhi correct and i used to stay there correct you know? correct I used to stay there months and months, correct, and to practice and rehearse. And there, I I saw you, Subendra, and Partho, correct, Kumar. correct. You used to also, also you were there, living with Guruji, your Guruji, Pandit Ravi Shankar Ji, and um, and I have seen you people how much struggle you have done and how much I mean, uh, seva. i don't know the english, english word exactly the seva uh, you did for your guru god god will definitely bless you god bless you i i believe that uh, you really did a fantastic job thank you i i really, really very much remember those days it's 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 such a such a pleasure you know on a on a lighter note we would wait to see you also for another reason that this time what is kumar da going to wear and come and i remember one of the trips you wore a pathani suit and after you left all of us we went and we stitched a pathani suit for ourselves but only to realize that we don't look as handsome as you it it was looking nice on you but but we we but it it was it was an inspiration from you always whether it was your sitting and doing riyas i have seen you doing riyas whole night let me tell you Where you would come from London after a tour, and then early morning you would take the flight back to Kolkata. That so that night you will just have a glass or two of milk, and then from nine or ten till morning six o'clock you will practice, do reyas, and I would sit there with you, and then you will have a shower and leave for the airport. So that's the kind of uh, it was such a such a blessing, and the central figure in this all this what we are talking was. the greatest legend the greatest musician pandit ravi shankar ji who made it all happen with his generosity that he had this house where everybody was welcome we could stay there eat learn from him practice it was how nice of him that he was so generous in sharing his knowledge and his resources so let's begin with him and your connection when did you first hear the name pandit ravi shankar well from very childhood because i belongs to a uh, you know musical family so from very childhood i knew him by name you know and i have uh, always used to listen to all his long plain because those days those days uh, the long plain were, were available and only few cassettes were available uh, so we used to listen to that but um, the main story how i met him is actually there was a tv telecast in london which i played with uh, ustad amzad ali khan okay and he was having breakfast in his very uh, beloved friend uh, called pradyut sen you know him in his house he was having breakfast and he saw on the tv the tv was on and there was a pebble mill uh, 
program used to come from Pebble Mills, you know, BBC, yeah. Indian program in the morning, Sunday morning. So there, uh, he saw me. So he asked Pradhut Kaka, that who is this boy? So Pradhut Kaka say he is Bharati's son, Vishwanath Kose's uh, son. So he was very surprised. He says, Vishwanath, the Calcutta from, uh, your tabla from Calcutta? He said, yes, yes. He says, oh, I didn't know he is. Uh, anyway, so then he went to India. He went to India and he was in Banaras. My father and mother, both, they went to Banaras as well. Same time, Panditji was there. And Pitaji and Ma went to Ashu Bhattacharya, is a very great Tabla Maestro. Yes. I mean, <clears throat> the students of, disciple of Pandit Kanthi Maharaj. Yes, yes. Very, 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 I mean, learned and very good. <laughs> so my father actually went to see him. So then Asubabu says that, this not, don't be in hurry, just wait. I have a surprise for you. So in a few minutes, Ravi Shankarji arrived there. And then they all met. And Panditji, as soon they, I mean, he saw my parents, he was so happy and he said, wow, after so long. So my father said, do you remember us? This is one point I, I should say that I have never seen a person can remember so many things, you know, for so, so, such a, such a long, long time. Correct. He had such a great memory. Uh -huh. He used to say that your brain should be preserved in yes. Indian Museum. You know, I always used to say it. So, so they made there. And then Patilji said that, you know, I am a little angry with you. So Pitaji said, why? He said, your son is playing and playing so nicely. I have seen, I have heard him playing with Kamdud Ali Khan. And uh, how come I didn't know? Because you are all, uh, you know, very close to our uh, sort of Karana. Because my mother was a disciple of Ustad Ali Agwa Khansa and Ustad David Khansa. Ah. And Ali Abba Khan Sahib took my mother to Ravi Shankarji once. And actually, Ali Abba Khan Sahib wanted Ravi Shankarji to train my mother for the Tantrakari Gat on Sita. on Sita. But somehow it didn't happen because of business and you know this and that. So, but Panditji was very close because. After that, my mother used to go to all his concert and always used to meet him. So somehow, so they were very close. So my father said, Gavuda, you know, those days, all old people, you know, all, they used to always call him Rabuda. He was very famous Rabuda. Correct. So Rabuda, you are such a big person now, and she was such a, you know, untouchable sort of, you know, personality. How can I tell you that my son is playing? No, 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 this is not a good, uh, good sort of thing, you know. I will give you my personal phone number and please tell Kumar, get in touch with me as soon as possible. So then he went back and he went back to USA, you know, after one or two months and my father came back home and then within Three weeks, 29th March, my father died. Oh. And then he phoned from USA because he saw it in, in Tribute newspaper. There's a newspaper called Tribute, Tribute in USA yeah. where you get all the Indian news, you know, sort of thing. So uh, he saw it there that my father died because we put it, uh, the news in PTI. Through PTI, we put it there. So, so I picked up the phone. I said, Namaskar, hello. 
that this is very bad and you know this is very sad and so sorry i just met him and how come this and that and they said okay i'm coming to india and please meet me i know you are very busy with amjad ali khan and uh, vilayat khan sahib as well but even though whenever you get time please meet me so then he came finally to india and in september october something like that but i was so busy with amjad ali khan sahib because amjad ali khan sahib used to love me that time and he was a main support of um, our our family boy my father died he gave a very good support really so i was very busy with him so i couldn't get because whenever whenever pandit ji was in calcutta i was in delhi pandit ji was in delhi so i was in bombay so pandit ji was in bombay i was in calcutta something like that you know so finally what happened that my mother went to meet him when he was in calcutta in lala babu's house with jayant and also tony was there devajiti all three of them went to see him and they had a big talk then finally i met him after one or two months i met him here in calcutta first time met him in amjadri khan sir sounds i must say in delhi in delhi ah in pansi ven clear amjad ali khan sahab invited him for for breakfast there and uh, i was there so i met him there first and then second time i met him here in calcutta and then he said many other aspects you know and uh, about music and also my about my father and finally the bottom line was that uh, do something on your father name do a program and i would like to play and i would like to play with you so i was sort of you know shocked and uh, sort of very nervous i said how come i can not play with you and how come i can do a program on said, no 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 i don't want any money out of it you do it you take a date from dubai and you do it so you know finally we got a date if i may just uh, interrupt you uh, which year was this this was uh, 1980 <clears throat> 1980 and which year did, did your, your father passed away in 80 or 79 1980 29th march my father passed away how how old was he uh 52 oh only okay oh. so really and uh, and this thing this program was happening in 1980 december okay same year mm, same year Okay. Okay. So in Ananda Cinema Hall, I did a concert on my father's name, and I played with him. Ah. And that was a massive, fantastic concert. I mean, it was so nice, very, very <clears throat> successful concert. And you know, whenever I mean, wherever he goes, the crowd and everything, autographs and people, and you know, the police was lati charging here and there, and all this chaos was going on so he was in the car going out and just he said that kumar if you have time tomorrow or day after tomorrow because these two days i am here in kolkata so if you please come and see me i said okay i will definitely come so next day i went to see him there in lala babu's car there actually he first time he told me that kumar alarata khan sir ji is uh, getting old and uh, his health is not permitting for tour in you know, such a long long tour and all so i need somebody in, in the place of him and i like you and i like banaras kharana as you know so if you just take me to play with me and if you be able to because i know you are busy with anjali khan sir and all He said, uh, "Pandit ji, it is a. I don't know what to say. It's a great honor for me, but uh, you have to give me one year because I'm totally busy with them, with Anjali Khan and all, and I may have to, you know, think about it a little bit because they also love me and things like that. Sure. So finally, I joined him, and I started playing from 1981. Wonderful, wonderful. 
so if i go back to that concert before that concert did you sit with him to practice uh, and ha have little bit of you know no really because i you know just two days before the concert when he arrived here in kolkata i he he had to play in the um, uttar pada sangeetak okay okay so i just went to see him and i asked him that uh, i used to call him jata mushai so i used to call him uh, jata mushai and i said jata mushai uh, i need to a uh, little bit of practice and you know understanding sort of thing you know i never played with you and things like that and he just said no 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 i have i have heard you and you can do it i know there is no time also so never mind it will go so that's like that so and what did he play what did he play that day do you remember what uh, he played first hamir in rupa that was massive tell us about i remember you and like then like in, uh, he played the uh, pilu yeah and it then he a long, to... long concert must be a long concert very long concert from uh, 6 to 10 oh, 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 oh. 4 hours in, in 6 to 10 whole house lot of i mean this concert was a massive concert you know ticket for blacking and things like that so house full concert my god you have <clears throat> so this was um, hamir he played in the beginning rupak i very much remember and then march khambaj on the in the second half they started and the drut ek tal gat oh my god i still remember drut ek tal jhala on drut ek tal gat and he just told me on the stage that just keep the theka not nadin dinna so just the drut ek tal theka so it was going on in the in the in the in the So this was this was a fantastic concert. Really, I still have the audio with me, but this is this was a fantastic one. So, what was your feeling? What did you after the concert was over? What did you think about it? What did you think of this experience? What did you tell yourself? <laughs> it's it's difficult. It's difficult to tell you the the feelings. You know, Correct. I mean, one side one side. was a very nice feeling and the other side other side was something like you know that we we are just know about maybe 1% of music i mean the music he produced the lakari he produced and the whole presentation he produced we we never ever could have thought about it Kumar Das' voice is, I think, mute. Uh, it's gone mute a little bit. Uh, is everybody here? Apnar apnar voice track to mute hoy galu match kane. voice track to mute hoye gechilo ha uh, voice ta ha now we can hear you sorry yeah so net, net so, problem yeah net problem so going from there from this concert at uh, the onanna cinema hall your first event with him what was your next big interaction with him and where did the journey begin actually the journey is so long ora you know it's just very yes. difficult to explain all that uh, i mean all about the experience i had with him and it was a quite a long time actually i joined from 81 to 94 i was regularly with him correct and um, the 81 84 85 86 87 these are the years 
uh, in America, Sheldon Soper was the management. We used to manage his program. And in Europe, Basil Douglas was the manager, I mean, management for his program. And so many programs I have played. I mean, you know, I can, I can show you today. I, I just found that, uh, you know, I, I show you a chart. Okay. So people can see this is a travel chart. Oh, wow. Which, which we used to get from the management as Amazing. soon as we arrived. Amazing. And I tell you the things like how many programs I have played, I, I don't know. And because I'll just, just give you an example. That here, the, my first program is April 10th, 1986 on uh, St. Louis Symphony Society. Right? Then the next program was April 12th, 1986. Next program, April 18th, 1986. So in a month, 1520 program. Oh. And in America for two, three months, and then Europe for two, three months. And then we used to come to India. And while coming to India, he always used to touch one year for Japan, Asian country, one year Russia, and things like that, you know. So just think, I don't know, a few hundred, maybe thousand. Yes, uh, definitely. I have played with him. And remarkable concert is so many remarkable concerts. I mean, uh, the Kineshwar is a remarkable concert. Uh, Jola Shako is a remarkable concert with my guru. Yes. Luigi and me both were there. Correct. And uh, in Shreveport, Delhi, Luigi uh -huh. and me both were there. Hamar, yeah. Rajiv, Gandhi, Rajiv Gandhi Foundation. Rajiv Gandhi Foundation. Bhageshri, Bhageshri and Maj Khamaj. Ah. <laughs> what a yeah, concert. What a concert. <laughs> oh, oh. And in Banaras also, few concerts in Banaras were very, very remarkable. Yeah. Rimpa. Uh, then Uday Utsab. Uday Utsab. Then... Uh, you know, uh, so many recordings are there, and uh, in Russia, uh, there there were some concert in Russia, and also Correct. the Kremlin Palace CD. Correct. If you have seen it, yes, yes. So that was a big sort of thing, and Ashit Desai was there. Correct. Oh. Correct. Uh, Balji, uh, Ardbani, I said, uh, I think his now name was no, the Western part, the violinist. Lalwani, Suresh Lalwani. Today's Lalwan. Correct. He was Correct. there. Yeah. I mean, you were there. Partho, many people, hundred people orchestra that was. Correct. Correct. In Bolshoi, in Bolshoi theater. Yeah. Yeah. The That's Russian choir. The Russian choir was there. Yes. That tour, uh, Kumar. If I just recollect, uh, just uh, tell you, I was part of the whole uh, uh, when Guruji was creating it in Lodi Estate. But actual performance, I wasn't part of. Uh, it was uh, Shubhendra was there and uh, Partho was there. And and we remember still your solo in that, that mm -hmm. Ravi Shankar in Kremlin, the, the finale of the uh, Festival of India. And it, you were a talk of the town. Everybody was speaking about who's that tabla player, who's that. After that, because Doordarshan did a live telecast. Yeah. And everybody saw that. What I would like to know that, see, they were different from playing in Ananda Cinema Hall, a concert which was a pure classical, to you working with him and being with him, say, on the movie Genesis uh, done by Mrinal Sen, mm -hmm. or playing when Zubin Mehta came with the uh, youth orchestra, European youth orchestra, mm -hmm. and Guruji performed his concerto with him to uh, doing like uh, productions like uh, Ravi Shankar in Kremlin and uh, Ghansham and uh, with Durga Lalji. You remember how, I mean, what was your musical experience like that all of a sudden here from one person, you're seeing so many different aspects of uh, creativity. What, what were you thinking? What were you experiencing? The, actually, uh, 
to start with, you know, on this aspect, I would rather say that Ravi Shankar is, I think, is not really 100% recognized by our country, especially. Of course. I agree. Because he was, I mean, I don't have a proper word. He was not uh, only an institution. He was not only an academy. He was something else. He was some... He was something else, actually, and I don't really have something bigger than he was, that. He was Kumada, all this and more. He was an academic, he was a composer, he was, but a lot more. Like you said, his memory, how, how he remembered things was just... Absolutely. 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 And what happened that, you know, his intelligence, yeah. intellectuality, the intelligence and all the education he had in him, it was all in his music. Yeah. What you are questioning me is what I learned from him, that music can be pure. At the same time, music can be very interesting. At the same time, music can innovate so many other things. Correct. Can, can go into it, you know? Correct. So these are the things that a person is thinking of so many things. A, for an ex, a, I mean, a example, and I, I really said to him, he was so happy. He said, Kumar, if my all my creation if people can understand like you did, I would have been somewhere else. Example is, you know the Zubin Mehta, the Sita uh, Konchato you are talking about? Yes. The first piece, it starts with the kettle, and then slowly, slowly with the dun, 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 dun. The idea behind of it, was and then suddenly it gets off and Tampura comes and Panditji starts slowly, slowly. Lalit Allah. What a piece! What a piece that is! What a piece! Oh, so behind of it, the idea the idea was actually because it was a fusion sort of thing, it was a it was a music to fuse both the country, Europe and India. So he started with the kettle and the parrot type of music when the, you know, the flag is up on Buckingham Palace in the morning when the guard changed, then that goes like the, that music. And then that is a morning, that is a British morning. That is the European morning. Correct, correct. Beautiful, beautifully explained, Kumar. The kya baat hai? And then come to Lalit with Tantra. Which is and Indian the sun morning. Is coming out. That is the Indian morning. Ah, kya baat hai? So, so this is this was the idea, and slowly, slowly there are so many ideas in this in this record actually, you know. So all always all his creation has always a massive message and massive philosophy behind the pit. And a it's story, not, there's always a, always a story behind. Story behind, and it is meaningful. It shows in the music. Yes. It's not that, you know, you have a name, a music, and the music doesn't, you know, do anything with the name. I mean, does not compare it to anything. No. So it's not like that. His music with his name, the idea and the theme, is always go together in a line. So that that sort of thing, that sort of creative mind he had always. That means that a person has so much education inside. Music as well as philosophy, as well as you know, language and everything. He used to speak French very well, you know, very, very well, language, French. So these are the aspects. So a person makes so big, so big. <laughs> so in one word, it's a little big man, you know? 
But then my question always has been, we have seen him to be really so great, so nice. How did he keep his balance? How was he so humble? And how did he manage to remain a student all his life? This happens actually, you know, so because he was really a person with many fruits. So, you know, the tree was so heavy with the fruits and, you know, gan and all. So he was very humble all the time. Not only that, he was very disciplined and he was so, I tell you, some, some of the habit. <laughs> Whenever we were touring, if he is staying with you in your house, suppose, first, first point, he used to make sure that, look, I can stay with you, Gaurav, if you accept my telephone bill and if you accept my laundry bill. <laughs> so in your house... He will pay for it. He will pay for it. Sure. His, his telephone, you know, long talk, because the whole world is calling and the whole world's whole year of the, you know, program planning, this and that, all this goes. So he's one, on, he's one call from one place to other, like, uh, like India to Japan, would be one and a half hour landline call. So it's a huge bill, you know. So what he used to make sure that you take the money because there are people who used to admire him who he will say, no, 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 it's not, it's not okay. No, 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 okay. For one time, let us do something for you. He will not agree. Never. The day he is off from your place, he goes to another place and he reaches there. Then and there, he will make a phone call to you. Go up, I have reached. <laughs> it was so particular. Well, he was so particular, he was so disciplined. So I have learned all these things. That, that's why I also, uh, whenever I go to any program, you know, I never made a telephone call, made a minibar, made a jo, the personal have a personal. I always pay my personal. No organizer can say that I had to play for uh, Kumar, such and such thing. Only fees and coding logic. That's all. Amazing. 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 And Absolutely. Absolutely. So these, these are the qualities make a person. So I remember very much, you know, uh, he was doing something and I said, uh, what are you doing? He said, no, I am I'm looking for my handkerchief, you know, um, Patho is not here. That reminds me, you know, Kumar, to see that he always in his mind, where Patho is doing something, where Gaurav is doing something, it was always there. Yeah. He wanted to do something for you. Always, 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 always. Always, you know. So these are the... That's, so touching. That's so touching because just what you said about that handkerchief and connecting to Partho because Partho would look so meticulously about the handkerchief and his clothes. Absolutely. I remember that Russia trip you were talking about because I wasn't there, but yeah. he was thinking of me. So he posted a postcard with the, you know, the red square and the, and he wrote in Bengali with me, whenever he wrote, he always wrote in and Bengali, how beautiful. I mean, everything, his English handwriting, amazing. Bengali, Hindi, he, he, he was so, so he wrote that it's everywhere, it's white. Janlar Bairi Theke Dekchi Puro Shada Ekhane. Kitu Tor Kota Khi Vishon Mone Hoche Kano Ekhuni Boshe Reyaj Kollab. Ar Tui Hole Tui Immediately Notation Kortish. Ar Asha Kori Bhalo Thakish, Ashibad Nish. See you soon and I'm missing you, Bole. Ama Kache Akhano Raka Ache. How, how beautiful is that, Kumarda? How many, how many gurus will do that? How many people will think of that?
isn't it isn't it amazing that uh, he would he would think he would think and and coming coming to the the thought aspect he would call you with a special name can you tell the viewers what was that <laughs> he would call you kumaran right kumaran dadi wala ad kumaran <laughs> correct correct yeah yeah and so many really first time i and he used to love hearing jokes you know correct and he used to tell me uh, tell me some jokes and if there is some slang or something in the jokes i used to avoid i used to modify sort of you know in in the language correct. and he used to, no 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 i know he so intelligent you know so no 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 modification <laughs> so that will work is that will work and i very much remember that deepak and everybody used to just you know go away kumar don't you have sense what are you talking on top guruji i said your guruji wants to listen what can i do it was that was so lovely really actually my first concert in the us i also remember uh, the poster was designed by su jones ah okay i have a picture in lexington hotel we were staying and su jones was also there she was there too nora nora's mother nora's mother correct that was the the concert was in karnagi hall ah ha ha and uh, that was a massive fantastic concert i have never been in a concert all over the world with him the concert was not house full i don't remember always till the end till the end each concert and there will be people waiting outside and well, I, wonder, I, you know just talking of his humility i remember once on this note there was a concert in siri fort hmm. and you were playing and that concert i don't know what happened that day usually guruji's concert as you said it was all packed that people waiting outside but that day there was a record turnout there were more people i think outside than inside what siri fort huge queue and i i was naturally your guru getting so much of hmm. uh, appreciation from people and i went running to him in the green room and the guruji saw me and he realized there's something you know which i want hmm. to tell him so and he when he would see somebody in a lot of excitement he would underplay the whole thing he would just sit and stand and smile and calmly he says ki holo so i said nana guru ji bhare bheed bhare to lok ato kilometer line are ei hoy and you know kumar da ki bollen guru ji all he did he did this and he says it's all god's grace and my guru's blessings hmm kokhono eta bolen ni ki na of course amar concert e to bheed hobei and and so i mean it was it was each each and every moment with him was a learning experience absolutely 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 so that's what i'm saying that you know i was such a long um such a long time with him so many memories so many and uh, every moment because those are the you know he was the people that you know every second you learn something every minute something is happening every moment correct every Moment. Correct. Correct. Something is happening. So you know, it's it's very hard to explain all that uh, that what I I learned. But I can say that maybe, of course, my gurus, uh, uh, my father, my parents, everybody has given me all that sort of sanskar, all that sort of culture in me. But I am today. i also learned from these people and especially pandit ji i learned so many things that's why maybe kumar bose is kumar bose today that's your, that's your greatness that's your greatness kumar that, that takes me to that concert if i may remind you it you were so loving to me because we went to bhopal together with guru ji for the bharat bhavan when he got the kalidas samman right right i'll never forget that Three days we stayed in that beautiful hotel, and all Guruji did those three days was he just practiced dhamar with you, if you remember. Mm -hmm. Because the function was in the morning, mm -hmm. and very beautifully aptly Guruji decided to play Shuddha Bhairavi and Bilas Kani Todi, mm -hmm. 
and he played a dhamar that day and in the audience there were eminent people kumar gandhar ji was there mf hussain was there and it was who and who but the two days before because i was sharing the room with you and next door guru ji was there and all the practice sessions i still remember as soon as the practice session finished you told me gaurav don't speak to me just come with me and just sit there and then you would take the notepad from the hotel room and you would start writing all those tihais and all that and i am thinking i mean kumar that did so well why is he and then i i didn't speak because you told and then later you said he says you said these are all such valuable talim not just for this concert but i want to keep it for the next concerts mm. i want you to speak of that because you just mentioned that how much you know no tihai chhota chhota tihai how to make you know small tihais and how to related to the the subject you are that is that is his talim actually i got uh-huh. from him you know the subject you are running and finish with the subject with that syllable sort of thing that syllable that pattern and you make it ai how you see that so these are the things actually he thought he taught me that you should see in this this sort of way so uni uri baji amake dekhaten tarpor ami seta niye bhabte 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 culture korte korte ayu kortam it is actually to play with him one thing is very difficult correct that you have to finish one subject one pattern in one very avati so that means you have to start and build up the tempo and then you have to finish in one avati which is very very difficult jo tabla bajata hai usko malu correct in bilambi you start one thing and build up the situation take to the high peak and suddenly you end but it's all in one hour thing so this is this is what it was very very difficult for uh, me playing with him you know it was you are always always happy because he every moment he gives you chance and he just told me that think about small pieces because i give you so many times i always give tabla player every after one or two hour the play something but that has to be very small because i play small you play small ha 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 ami ekta ekta choto piece bajalam tumi ekta tar pore boro lomba piece bajie dile seta match korbe no so my father used to say the same thing that when you accompany think about your main artist if he is improvising 2 hour ti 3 hour ti 4 hour ti if he is on 4 hour ti you have to finish on 2 hour ti if he is finished on 3 hour ti you have to finish on 1 hour ti so make your things half of your main artist and that the same thing pandit used to tell me so these are you know a lot of things in pakhawat style drupadi style when used to play dhamar he always used to say that kumar don't use tabla bani tabla syllable ah 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 try to maintain the pakhawat syllable because i play dhamar style uh, drupad style and uh, you should always maintain that so i tried i mean these are uh, in in a way i knew it but these are in a way talim you know how you develop yourself sort of thing you know correct so correct. there are so many things to discuss about and uh, you know better some of the program you tell oh, some sir. some of the program of course the one i would definitely want to talk is the concert at the uh, royal albert hall with uh, you and zakir bhai together oh <laughs> you have to mention it there are few concerts i have in mind but before that can i just take you you just took a name just now and it's so apt because it's guru purnima day after tomorrow and you just took the name of our very very dear beloved deepak da deepak choudhury ah please speak something because guru ji had a special relation with deepak da and deepak da loved guru ji so much and he was really for us an example of how a shishya should be how a student should be deepak da mm-hmm. for me was 
and I have learned so much from him. I, I, whenever I went to Calcutta, he always made a rule, you are only going to stay with me. And so many things he sat with me with this, because Kumarda, if you know, I initially played the violin. And I started sitar much later in my mm. life. And Deepakda meticulously, and, and he, he had such a uh, love for me. So I would like you to speak the relationship of Guruji, Deepakda, and Deepakda as a disciple and how a disciple really should be. I mean, Deepakda, a lot of people who have not seen him, they really used, missed out. He, he used to love Deepak because, yes. of, because of not only one thing. I mean, as a whole, that, you know, his idea and Deepak's idea, he, Deepak was also a very intelligent boy. Yes. Very creative, very innovative boy. Yeah. And very musical, very yeah. artistic. Yeah. Very artistic. Deepak was a very good friend of mine, very bosom friend of mine, and we had hours and hours together. He was very artistic. So that's what Pandit used to love. And Pandit used to always, Pandit used to tell me that Deepak is the one I am so, it's, it's, it's my bad luck that I don't get Deepak very much. But Deepak, I think my half of the idea. Deepak can implement so well. Deepak is the only boy who understand me, who understand me. So things like that, he used to talk about Deepak, you know. And I had so many concerts with Deepak. Deepak was very leather. Deepak was fantastic in all sense, in all sense, really. And we that's really... why Satyajit Roy also used to love Deepak very, correct. very much. Correct, correct. correct. Very much. And we, Deepak... miss him. we miss him so much. No, 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 we really, absolutely. Really I just uh, last uh, few months before lockdown, I went to Bangalore to play in the name of uh, Deepak. They were doing some of his students. Huh. They have an association there. Uh, and uh, they are doing a lot of work and remembering Deepak very much. Wonderful. Wonderful. So I went to play with him. And I said that I will go again. Uh, I also miss him. It's a very sort of very unfortunate for us. Very unfortunate. Yeah. We lost him too early. Yes. Uh, yeah. But going back to those concerts, let's speak of some very really iconic concerts. One was that morning concert where Guruji played in Hyderabad just before his uh, wedding with Chinnama. Just I think a day before or uh, two days before we all were there. And I will never forget that morning. It was almost five and a half hours, right? No, before that, before that, I tell you, uh, we had a concert in uh, Hungary. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Tell us about it. I wasn't there, but I've heard about it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Hungary. There, uh, I mean, those are the time. Actually, only Panditji and me used to travel. Yeah, yeah. Because our management was Basil Douglas. We used to get tickets and every arrangements were made. And we just had to uh, go to the airport and sit on the flight, that's all. You know, arrangements were so nicely made. Anyway, so uh, in Hungary, so as soon we entered in the hotel and after, you know, uh, got all the, all everybody's room and everything is. So he said that uh, lunch, uh, you can take your lunch, but uh, evening, don't go anywhere. Uh, I will check you for dinner. I said, wow, okay, something special coming. So I said, okay, yes, yes. <laughs> Why would you like to? I said, anything. Food, you know, better than me, but uh, something Western. Oh, yes, yes, okay. So in the evening, we went to a restaurant in the car. He just said, Kumar, do you like this? There's a, you know, ring, the diamond ring. So I just took it. I knew it, it was not mine, but I just took it. I said, this is fantastic, but it won't fit in my hand. My finger is bigger than this. So he laughed. 
He said, okay, one day I will give you one other ring, but this is for Sukarna. I said, wow, so decision is made. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, uh, yes. And, um, but don't tell anybody, you were the only one, you know. And I have said to anybody that uh, we have to plan and slowly, slowly, because, you know, uh, so I said, okay, <clears throat> so how and when, when it's, it's going to be? He says, okay, wait, wait, let us get back. Internet is over. to India and definitely we will do it in India. Uh, Ektu Kumarda, you need to repeat because your voice froze. Your voice uh, froze. If you can repeat the whole... So he, he took the ring saying, it's not for you, I'll give you another one. But this is for Sukanyaji, this is for Chinama. Okay, from there you tell us. And then I, I started uh, saying that, okay, uh, the decision is made. So I'm so happy. <laughs> so he said, yes, yes, this one is made. I said, when it's going to be, where is going to be? I said, wait, wait, Baba. Don't say to anybody else, wait. Let us get back to India. And then slowly, slowly it will happen. Okay. So finally, we went to Hyderabad. He took a decision to, you know, happen all the things in Hyderabad. And we went to Hyderabad. And it was a huge startup, you know. Asian, I should say, because it's sort of, sort of like festival. And we had a morning concert uh -huh. on this basis. Jasrajji sang. Yes. I played with Jasrajji. Yes. And then Panditji played. I played with Panditji also. Yes. And that was my first concert with Jasrajji. Oh. That's how I met him. Okay, okay. Beautiful concert that was Guruji. Guruji played Ahir Bhairav that day, ah. and the solo he always gave solo to you and all the other uh, tabla players who played with Guruji. I remember he played that day a kirtan, Bengali kirtan, and the solo you started was in the kholang. I'll never so, forget that. Uh, he it, was very particular about tabla. He used to love tabla, yeah. and I think he is one of the uh, very first musician. Also, in, you can include Ustad Ali Akbar Khansab also. Yeah. That they, he was very particular about tabla player and other associate musician, whoever with him. Even Tanpura player also. Correct, correct. correct. Well, I remember very much that he used to say specially. And in this contract, also it is written in the end that my tabla player will be staying in the same hotel nearest room by me. This was on contract. How nice. So, um, he, all, all the posters used to make sure that tabla player's name is properly given. In the record, tabla player names properly given. If it is not, he used to get very upset. On the stage, mala, all the gardening, everybody, has to get same. Don't make my mala a bigger one and then Kumar one or Allah Khansa's one some smaller and then Manpura player some smaller. No, 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 no. Give all everybody. Same. So these these uh, were the things he was very, very particular. And I think he was the first one to make people aware of that accompanist or Every musician should get always the same sort of uh, sanman, same sort of prestige. Correct, Correct. of course, uh -huh. of course. And, and the luxury of travel is not that he's traveling in a flight and you're going in a train. 
or you are staying in some smaller hotel yeah. it, it was always always very met meticulous i i remember that always he he was always in first class in the in flight and i was in business class ah. always kya baat hai kya baat hai and my uh, my room was very near to his room in same floor and whenever he used to come to my room he used to knock and he used to talk from outside because he knew that i smoked he said no no okay okay just just to talk to <laughs> but then let me ask you talking of flight travel when you started traveling with him was he still traveling with the sitar inside the flight sitar inside the flight and uh, many was, times yeah many times i have seen him buying a ticket in the name of mr sita correct a first class ticket next to him yes yeah. only air india air india he didn't have to uh, buy ticket because air india of course you know respect for guruji respect for guruji and but any other air italia and all all the foreign flights you know he used to always buy a ticket in the name of mr sita <laughs> how interesting how interesting i wanted to because you started to travel with him when he was still not putting the sitar in a box it was it was in a nice cloth silk cover mm -hmm. and then a plastic on top of that and he would carry it himself or noduda would be there do you remember noduda traveling with you oh yes yeah first first uh, two years first one or two years uh, noduda tamusai was there yes and he and he so would be taking care of the sitar so like a baby like he would not let anybody touch the sitar no 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 not yeah. i used to i used to always you know go and uh, just to help him you know they give it to me give it. no he would you not can, you can take his bag you can take his suitcase anything else but not the sitar yes even to guruji he said it's only for you to play rest it is mine i it's i am going to take care and is going to be with me absolutely and, uh, it's just amazing so coming back kumarda two iconic concerts i i i want to speak about here because of the sheer concept the concept one is the bombay concert where guruji played with you swapanda and zakir bhai and then the and then then the england concert where you and zakir bhai appeared together these two concert the the musical mostly the musical content is what i would like you to focus on musical content of course you know when zakir bhai was there and me was there and you can understand that you know the musical content was uh, naturally very high <laughs> because he had all that you know complicated he had all all his complicated all his deep all his everything he wanted to put you know and he wanted to say always used to say that no no you people are there so uh, you know i i have the confidence you will how hum log are pandit ji humse nahi hoga ye samlega nahi no no you can do it in bombay ah uh, suddenly called there was no real sun ah uh, ah uh, he suddenly called us in the green room said look i have a new plan yes the plan is i have a composition of 30 beats circle no name of tar only 30 beats and he said that kumar you have to play pancham sawari so that means two avarti will come in 30 zakir bhai has to play jantal which is three avarti in 30 sapanda has to play group ek tar which is that yeah and we were very nervous and very tense first that how it acha pandit ji hum log ek sath bajayenge we will all play together yes all together oh my god somebody is playing japta somebody is playing pandam swari how can he play how can we play correct there koi 30 minutes but that concert went so well ah ha ha i think in north music not in the music as least i mean i have never ever seen a person can manage this because 
as soon as it started, I very much remember if some viewers are watching today who were there, that I'm not lying, that as soon as it started, especially we three were so excited and we started the high from the very beginning. So Panditji was keeping the girl. To ask Partho, Partho was there. Yes. So Partho somewhere here and there. I said Partho chup today. <laughs> <laughs> so and Panditji, after five, ten minutes, Panditji said, Look, this is my program. Let me play, let me play. Because <laughs> we were so excited, you know. Correct. Yeah. 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 Pandit used to, Pandit was just keeping the guard. So after five, ten minutes, he said, look, this is my program. <laughs> and then he took it. But I must say, what I, I was going to say, that one theka, I mean, if I play a theka a little bit in a different way, that it would create a very big problem for you. Or any other. Yeah, yeah. Right? But the thing, the three theka is going on all together. Correct. How it sounds. Correct. All together going on. Yeah. Each dehai, each everything, oh, mm -hmm. oh, so perfect. Does a great, great concert, and only he can do really. In the tall act, man, listen. Or this owner like he got, owner he said he got. Even he said, "Oh, and and another, another, another piece in that program was Chalakte Ghade. Chalakte Ghade was his idea. Was my mama was, you know, he used to like my mama very much, and uh, he has written in his. Uh, Life, my music, my life. Ah. My music. So he said that Kumar, you go with and on top of it, Jackie Bai, Tablay Mejo, so it's Salakte Harejo, Salakte Hare, Obama Peta Salakta Gara. This was his idea. And then on top of it, Sapanda and Jackie Bai. We are doing something with the tabla. Then slowly, 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 we come together and made a solo. There was some sound problem, big sound problem. Otherwise, the recording could have been much, much better, I believe. So Karnaji still have the recording, but there is a sound problem. But, you know, because of the technology, I think that if video is okay, then from the audio, sound can be put it on the video. Okay, yeah. I guess. Because this but, is a historic, historic concert which cannot be repeated. It's no. a one-time, one-time concert. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. What I, I remember, you mentioned that after this, you wanted to do it in Calcutta, but it, 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 it was too big. I think a project for it. No, to... actually, it was, it was uh, some company or HMB ah. gave him an open offer, ah. open check. Ah. That where is the check? You take the amount you, you want. The same, same thing. Bangalore, Madras, Calcutta. We will do and Delhi. And Delhi. Oh. But Jakir Bhai didn't take me. As far as far Panditji told me that uh, Jackie Bai had some problem or whatever. Okay, okay. So going going forward now, uh, let me you know we are coming. Uh, we can keep talking like this for days and weeks yes. and you know. And Kumarda, to tell you the truth, we still feel Guruji is around us. He's with us. He's still guiding us. He's still Absolutely. teaching us. His 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 power. His power. His soul. His energy. Reading, reading was was his uh, one of the hobby. Once I remember, in the airport, whenever we used to go to 
uh, a place in the airport as soon we used to enter and the checking and everything is done then he is on his own i am on my own in the shop shopping area you know yeah. so he is in the book area i am in the electronics area sort of like that. so i uh, one day i saw him coming out from a book stall and buying nothing i said uh, you didn't get anything any any book you didn't like so he said that no it's not that uh, the you know the nobel my life you know my type of nobel i have read all that you know nothing is coming new so i didn't get a new one so what to read you know all all that nobel is already i have read Yeah, he's so read all. He was such a reader. That how now how much he used to yeah. love reading Correct. newspaper. It was regular in every flight. One newspaper, one novel, and the flight international flight. And the flight is finished. He and finished. Then, <laughs> I think that was good. He was a he was a voracious reader, and it's just amazing now. in the end there is something very emotional i know it's emotional but it's it's something i like to that fateful day of uh, 11th december 2012 when you got the news where were you and uh, what was your reaction Freezing, Kumar. Does it video? Yeah, you're back. It it froze. It froze uh, for a moment, Kumar. That. Hmm. Because of the uh, net. Because I I remember you calling me in Delhi. and you just asked this one statement that jata moshai chole galen it was i was i was in calcutta i was in calcutta and this is better not to talk about actually you know because when i heard it was something like you were in a uh, in a sort of a no space sort of feeling you know I mean, shop which is just shunno hoye gal. Correct. I mean, the personality. I mean, he Bharatya Surjo jan osto hoye gal. Ero ko mekta, I mean, Shoti Rana naam chilo Robi Shankar, and uh, it was after Robindranath. I think Robi Shankar, people will remember. This is forever. the is forever, forever. Forever. Ei duto Robi ke to bola jabe na. Ei Robi duto bola jabe na. Ei Robi duto Shoti Shoti ekta Bharatya Robi chilo. ठीक ठीक तो रोबीस्तमी very much love because mamun used to call dadu yeah. and he never had you know never had heard of dadu that word you know yeah. so he used to love mamun very very much Correct. there are so many presentation he has given for mamun mamun has it yeah. also sukarna ji also loves mamun very much very much very much very much she is watching she is here with us she sends her love and blessings uh, and i think we are we are so lucky to belong to the family of guruji and to have received his love and blessings and music i think with this uh, kumar da thank you very much for coming i am and- also so lucky you know people i mean i remember in uh, london bellies hotel bellies hotel yeah bellies hotel my one hand anushka is in my one hand and uh, nora is on i very much uh and they were so little you know yes 
so so little and of course anushka was very very intelligent from the very very beginning yes yes she very... was she she yes. she has the same sort of you know i believe same sort of intelligence as pandit ji had yes proves that that he is a yes i mean she is fantastically uh, influenced by by pandit ji's all sort of idea and creativity definitely Def and both of them nora and anushka they are well, so successful today they are carrying guruji's legacy and they are doing so well it's wonderful to see that everybody and and, and all who have whoever came in contact with guruji even for a little bit or larger they all are today doing so well they are successful is thanks to his blessings so and happy. you know that energy he passed on so we seek your blessings kumarda my pranam to you once more thank you because you are family and you coming and speaking on guruji who you love so much i have seen that incident i'll never forget when you came to uh, the found, uh, the uh, the ravi shankar center in delhi you were i think passing through delhi and you just mentioned that uh, gaurav is guruji in town i would like to and i asked mm. guruji guruji said yeah of course so you came to meet him and how mm. much he almost forced you to sit next to him and you chose to sit next to his feet you just sat there and you know that that memory is so fresh till today seeing you such a great tabla player great musician to give so much respect to somebody who is of course i mean he deserves all the respect and love and is given all of us so much so on this guru purnima we pay our uh, regards and our pranams to him and gratitude and thank you once again for coming kumar dan joining us That's and true. blessing us with your beautiful experiences thank you navarun chatterjee who is doing Bless such you. a wonderful job uh, he is uh, navarun is really so uh, you know emotional when it comes to his mama uh guruji pandit ravi shankar ji nabarun over to you now kumarda to talk thank about so much kumarda thank, thank you so much we felt honored nabarun nabarun act minute nabarun that that's the thing that uh, to talk about pandit ji and we become so emotional you know samuto bolata everybody go i mean you know what to say what not to say i mean what should i say and something like that you know we so it's a sort of you know emotional nostalgia yes but but you spoke from the heart and you spoke so so beautifully thank you kumarda nabarun thank you kumarda we felt honored to have a legend like you on this show and sharing your experience with mama just kumarda because this is a guru purnima week La one last question or you may say an advice from you for the young generation who are uh, playing and uh, listening and uh, learning music as a guru what will be your advice to the young generation one last question mera advice ye hai for the young generation i am speaking in hindi because because yeah. you are saying that the young generation who are doing the music yeah तो उन लोगों के लिए सबसे बड़ा मैसेज ये है कि गुरु क्या चीज है गुरु नाम का क्या अर्थ है गुरु कौन है इस सब चीजों का ध्यान और ज्ञान दोनों लगाओ जब गुरु अपने अंदर आ जाएगा गुरु को 100 परसेंट तुम समझ पाओगे गुरु के आंखों से दुनिया देख पाओगे तो तुमसे अच्छा कोई कोई गाना बजाना कोई काम नहीं होगा तुम सबसे बेहतर होंगे और बिल्कुल गुरु पे जाओगे तो गुरु को समझना गुरु के ऊपर समर्पित होना गुरु को समझना गुरु को अपनाना ये सब चीजों पे ध्यान दिया जाए क्योंकि टैलेंट आज अभी इस समय बहुत अच्छा है बहुत कुछ है लेकिन ये बोल के व्यक्त करना सारा मुश्किल होता है कि उनके गाने बजाने में गुरु भक्ति और गुरु के प्रति समर्पित होने का जो है वो थोड़ा सा कम लगता है कहीं पर थोड़ा कमी लगता है 
तो इस चीज पर ध्यान दे तो हमारे अगले पीढ़ी का जो है उनका भी बहुत बुलंद दरवाजा बुलंद थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू वंस अगेन अच्छा वंस अगेन थैंक यू टू दूअर्स ऑफ पंडित रविशंकर म्यूजिक फाउंडेशन डू कम टूमोरो एट एट पी एम शाप इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड टाइम with one other eminent personality and once again i am repeating that day after tomorrow we have to announce something for the young generation to be tuned young generation musicians be tuned on that special day we will have some discussion and some announcement for you people so nice of you good night take care everybody good night pranam